three, two, one. Welcome back to Bean Gaming. I am recording this on Friday evening because Ninja hooked me up with some pretty cool units. But you're watching this Saturday, a little bit before the live stream. So once the update hits, I am going live. Hopefully you can take part of that. And on top of it, I do have giveaways going on right now on the Discord server. I just finished up giving away 4,000 souls. Like, come on, let's go. And I grinded all of them on my own. So I'm happy to give those away. And people are wanting more giveaways with souls. So that's what I'm going to do. There should be a giveaway going on right now with souls again. Because that's what the people asked for. That's what the people wanted. That's what the people are getting courtesy of being gaming but check this out here ninja hooked me up with the showcase for shiny blighted endo freddy why he got a buff shiny not at crush your mango why because he got a buff and finally shiny rock and bonnie why got a buff absolutely so what are these buffs if i head on over to the discord server i'm not going to put that up on the screen the buff not at crush your mangle ended up getting a buff from 2000 all the way up to 2700 or 2750 damage the blighted endo freddy got buffed went from 400 damage to 250 damage and the range is 20 now i don't know if it was more or less before but 20 range is pretty small to begin with and then the rock and bonnie that's the one that i'm most impressed about it's 175 damage with a 0.5 cooldown and i'm going to show you in the game just how crazily buffed that actually got because rock and bonnie wasn't rocking until that buff and let me tell you it probably is the second best starter now in the entire game and i'm going to show you why i might even do a separate video on that but shiny blade end up ready you can take a look at the stats here and on top of it only 91 exists the shiny nut at crusher mangle only 76 exists and there's quite a bit more shiny rock and bonnies because that one you got from the exclusive right over here it was right over here in the exclusive position and that's over with and done that's gone can't get him again only by trade but let me tell you this buff here is actually pretty significant i'd have to go back and check out a previous video i made on it but i am going to tell you when you take a look at the stats in the game then you're going to see why i'm claiming it's the second best unit in the game we'll run some stats on it maybe at a later time but let's get down to business here let's hop on in the game here and test all these new buff units out here we go so we're going to start off by doing one of my favorites 4-6 nightmare mode and no, I, I do need to bring along a shiny phone guy with vengeance, just in case. But let's go ahead and do hell mode. We have $20,000 to start. Let's go ahead and place... I mean, look at how small this range is for Blighted Endo Freddy. It's really tiny, so I'm going to have to go hell mode, and hopefully I can level up real quick. I'm going to try and not put one of my starters down and see if he can actually hold. Maybe, maybe not. We're going to find out relatively quick here. And let's go ahead and completely max everything out as best as I can. 30,000, can we get there? I know we're going to take a little bit of damage, but now that his range is a little bit more, he might be able to get to that 40,000. There we go. Okay, so 100% castle health still. Thank goodness, 50,000 to completely max out. He's doing just fine for the time being at 50,000. There we go, completely maxed out. Now he's going to need a little bit of help. And I think we are going to be good to go for the rest of the game because the range is... Yeah, the range is reaching. Let's go ahead and put down another range booster right in this spot here. And completely maxed out. Yes, let's go. Okay, now the Nautic Cruiser Mangle, or Crusher Mangle. 34, and how many of these can I place? One, two, it has a giant hitbox here, and three. Look at the splash damage on these things. 34, 48, and then 62,000 to completely max out. We are going to be good to go. Look at the splash, just completely splashing everything out. And we can place three of these in total. All right, nice. I can't, I mean, you literally can't even see them. And then what's really cool about Rock and Bonnie, I know Rock and Bonnie's a starter, but it's not a starter for this map. Watch this one, two, three, four, and five. Yes, they are rocking. And I know back when the Rock and Bonnie was first released, Medic ended up throwing some sound on this thing. I don't know if the sound still works or not. I'm not going to check because the splash from the Nautic Crusher Mangle actually overpowers it. So I don't overly know if that's going to be able to be heard or not. But either way, it's totally cool. I mean, look at these guys. They are definitely rocking. And now let me put down a phone guy because 
I think I'm going to be able to get there really quick here. It's math time with Bean Gaming. So with Phone Guy, 357.2, divide that by .088, and then multiply that by 3, because there's three placements, 12,177. And then for the Rock and Bonnie, we have 781.3, divide that by .4, and then multiply that by 5. We're actually looking at, uh-oh, hang on, I think I might have messed something up. I don't think the cooldown is working. Let, we're going to check that out in the next game. So, pretty easy win. Let's try the hardest map in the game, 5-6. Here we go. We absolutely do need a phone guy for the start of this map. The only unit that I've seen to be able to at least somewhat contain, actually do a really good job, completely solo first wave, is Old Man Consequences. Beyond that, I don't think, I haven't come across any unit that was able to do that. The shiny Nightmarian with Vengeance came close, but it still didn't satisfy the first wave. So the slowing is going to really help, and then once we get enough money here, we're going to put down the Endo here, the Blighted Endo. And we're going to start here, we need to get to that to that 19,000, and there we go, it was relatively quick that it happened. And now watch this, we should be able to completely max him out, completely max this one out please, yes, okay, there we go. So it did work. We're in good company now. And let's go ahead and place down our Nautic Cruiser Mangles or Crusher Mangles. I, I can't remember all these names. There's too many names going on here. Okay, this second Crusher Mangle and one more Crusher Mangle right over here. Let's go. Okay, now let's put down all five. One, two, three, four, and five. These rockin' bunnies are rocking out now. Completely maxing out. Smashing E on the keyboard to do that. And let's just put down an Eclipse Ballora and then another Fredbear right behind it and see if anything changed for... Oh, there it is. See? Do you see the cooldown change? I knew something was up. So we have our phone guys doing 12,177 damage per second. I'm going to verify that one more time because it's .088. Yes, that is correct. Now, math time with Bean Gaming. Let's actually do this properly. 781.3. And then we're going to divide that now by 0.219 and then multiply that by 3. So 10, not, well, why did I multiply it by 3? Divide by 3 and then multiply that by 5. That's better. 17,837. Like, let's go. These Rock and Bonnies are actually doing more damage per second. They're full AoE, unlike the... Uh, shiny phone guy. Shiny phone guy is just targeted AOE. Splash essentially. Cone AOE or Rock and Bonnie is full AOE, I believe. And I think we're going to be able to make it. Unforgiving en entered. And yes, we were able to get there. Let's go. So let's go back to the lobby. The showcase was actually really quick. And I think I am going to do a video comparing some of the best starters now since they upgraded, updated the shiny Rock and Bonnie, or Rock and Bonnie rather, in general. So that's actually pretty cool, and I'm going to go out on the limb here and say it's probably the second best unit in the game. We'll do some tests and this and that, but I hope to see everyone on the live stream tomorrow. Actually, it's today because I just posted this video now, so I don't know when, but hopefully within a few hours, make that live stream. That'd be really cool. And so if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!